Victor Septome is the third full length album uh, in the r- roughly 20 year career of British Columbia based death metal band Mitochondrian. And we could consider them uh, like a chaotic dissonant death metal band. We consider them a blackened death metal band, something that is both technical and uh, over the top. It's bestial. There's a lot going into what they do. And they did come out of kind of a, the tech death scene at the time. Uh, fans of traditional death metal, and for the, from their first uh, or second demo, the one that's available, you could certainly hear influences from early deicide just in the riffs. You could you could feel that intensity of it uh, or a derivative of that. And I think that the sort of unholy cult era of immolation might have introduced uh, some dissonance into their, their vernacular at that time, and it only expanded from there. By the time they put out a couple of pretty classic records in the late 2000s, uh, for me, RK Aeon uh, was a transformative record at the time. I think it was doing just a little bit more than what Portal had introduced in their first couple of records it was expanding it in a different way a little bit more grinding a little bit uh, more psychedelic it was it was an exaggeration of an idea that was kind of exploding at the time granted a band like portal expanded in their own ways that were leagues beyond what anyone else had kind of done for a very long time but i think mitochondrian was took it off into their own node pretty quickly with parasignosis that was more of a brutal record they became more direct they they uh had moved away from the a lot of the accoutrement on the first record they moved away from a lot of the noise based and and movements and they became a more direct band on that second record now it was still very involved it was uh kind of nuts in the way that they presented it but it was a, a distinct change in direction at the time and so there were no real expectations beyond that point when anti-numerology came out and it was a little bit more straightforward i think by then they teamed up with Arock, and Arock is maybe it was a little bit more of a, a brutal uh, earlier feeling the same way that mitochondrian had it was kind of the right fit basically what i'm getting at is any hype for what happened before that had sort of gone off into the aether at that point because they they hadn't produced anything for quite a long time Arak showed back up and put out a couple of records and, and more recently split and so there was no real expectation for mitochondrian to come back a lot of the other members actually i think all of the members of mitochondrian have pretty interesting other projects they're working on and so this was a surprise record in every sense and the fact that it's a 90 minute double lp that is just so packed with different details both chaotic and psychedelic and um just emergent in most sense uh it's no surprise that it took them several years to put together this record so there's too much to consider here there's too much to go over in like a short video kind of review format i think what i would say is that there's essentially three acts and uh, four sides and it's all split up in a way that is confusing to start it's a lot to take in and so uh there's no way a 15 second clip here could convey the experience that 90 minutes does on its own so we'll just uh, we'll get to an example of the sound design uh, maybe a more chaotic moment in one of the songs and uh, work from there So I think the thing to note up front is that there, there's no throwaway, uh, you know, uh, the way a lot of experimental death metal today uses uh, free space to not overwhelm the attention span of the listener. There's uh, so much pandering that goes on today that limits a lot of extreme art because they don't want to uh, overwhelm the ear of the listener with too much art. I think that people can't take as much these days. A lot of people are pretty much wimps in terms of uh, caustic and confrontational music. The details are not heard. And I think that uh, there is something that is really just intense and explosive to those of us that do pay attention to the details, uh, sitting with a record like this, because it is so full and rich with ideas and nuance to dig out, um, week over week, month after month, that it's probably going to be a little bit too intense for most listeners, especially because it's such a long record and there is so much packed into each song. There's 
characteristic mitochondrion all over this record in terms of the drum performances especially i think the uh guitar work is rightfully a little bit all over the place if you really crank up the 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 volume and pay attention to the movements a lot of this is very chaotic to start and it moves um into a more liquid form later on uh, around the 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 third side or so and the trilogy or the the trio makes sense on this record as you sit with it it becomes a little bit more blackened at one point it's got uh, a little bit more uh, interruptive uh, segues at one point so the pacing is all very intentional we sort of get the full history of the band in the whole, the full over that's shown here but we also get something new the whole time there's this really intricate balance of what they know all of it kind of showing at once and then all of it kind of being uh, toyed with and played around with and messed with in a way that is challenging in every sense uh, it's organic in its production values. It's not particularly bass heavy in the, the actual mix. And so it really does seem they focused on the guitar detail and the chaotic nature of their compositions. The arrangements are all kind of on display throughout, but obfuscated in the sense that it all clashes at times and then flows together over time. So it, it's it's hard to parse it's not i probably should have prepared uh how exactly how to convey this because there's so much to it now, the overall effect is probably unique to user experience I, I think there's the best records are sort of that way because my own associations go back uh 15 years with this band whereas other people this might be your first time listening to this and it might just seem like a chaotic thing and there's much more to the experience once you've sat with the booklet, once you've looked at through the lyrics and seen all the art attached to it. Uh, some of this is very familiar and some of it is, is intentionally alien as you go through it. So anyway, there's a lot of value to the packaging. There's a lot of value to the intention put into the presentation, the lyrics and the work here. I wouldn't say that this is a record where you're just going to be able to pick two or three riffs and say, hey, these are the best parts of the album. I think even the best riffs on this album that you could point out evolve and devolve on every song that they're presented on they've really considered every a rhythmic bit that you would cut from any one song and so it for me it just becomes like a chaotic point in my mind like i, I would go back to vitreceptome to to try to decipher it once more but uh, we're getting the full uh, breadth of what mitochondrion are capable of and at this point it's it's pretty impressive it's been several years since they put anything out and uh, for me this is a, a very high recommendation i think it's something worth digging into and if you if you don't have uh, trouble paying attention or if you're not interested in the experiential value of records it might not be for you in the sense that this 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 might just be too much for a lot of listeners who are looking more for uh, something to chill out with rather than pay attention to i hope there's there's kind of more that they have to say beyond this point but I really do feel like this is kind of the definitive statement from this band at this point and probably because I, I really favor their first record and I feel like a lot of that chaos came back I feel like a lot of the feeling of their music came back after a more brutal second record and so the the balance is there in a way that I particularly like and so this is one of my uh, high res highest recommendations of the year it will certainly be up there in my best of the year list generally just one of my biggest recommendations of November uh, it shouldn't be shocking that this is my kind of thing but I, I do think this is exceptional uh, to a degree that uh, most people won't expect it'll be a lot more album than most people will expect and I think that's uh, that shows that this kind of music is in good health there's a lot of bands in this style bringing back some of their best records ever and i think this is uh one of those so check it out yourself it released on the first of this month and uh, go ahead and read my extensive review for thoughts on most of the details that i found relevant